Right, fellas, go out and make the lad called Gary Ford. He's got an Escort Cosworth. I'm not expecting to shoot like an immaculate car. This is a car that gets taken out, it gets used hard, then it gets put back away for the next time he takes it out. He's not one to like spend a day polishing it. He literally just takes it out, spanks it all over, then puts it away for the next time. But let's go, we've got to make him in like five, ten minutes. Small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just same medication for it, and they all got off, man. They're all fucking crazy. <laughs> Do you understand that, mate? We'll just say hello at the camera. Oh, I <coughs> Tell him there we go. Alright fellas, welcome back. This is Gary. Yeah, right. Gary Ford. Is it pronounced Ford, mate? Ford, aye. Ford. Uh, and he's brought his Escort Cosy down. Gary's had this car, but the same as we, haven't you, Gary? About 13, 14, 14, uh, 14 15, yeah. Aye. How much did you pay for the car when it was there? Uh, 15. You paid 15, 15 did you? 15, aye, aye. It was literally the only decent one there was. There was, there was all of them were dogs, man. All what were that? Holes in the um, sills and everything when I was looking, you know, really? so God knows what they're like now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they were the of the for, for, for crazy money, eh? Yeah. So, what power is it going to carry? It's about five, 550. Um, 550? Aye, it, it went on the rollers um, and it made 516 brake. Aye. Um, but we'd only revved it um, 6,700 revs because my loom plugs were wet at the time. So now it runs more boost and it like goes to eight and a half. T4 turbo, isn't it? T4 uh, turbo, we see it's, it's been modified and stuff like that. What um, about the gearbox? It's totally standard. Um, it's got a, um, a DBA gearbox, a peaked out gearbox, so it's straight cut in um, second and third. Aye. Mm -hmm. um, she right. went over, she went over for a drive. Yeah. Owen. I'll just set these cameras up, Gary. Because he was looking at mine, you're judging us on that? Aye. See yours is a clean thing though, isn't oh, it? Like you had all the floor and everything done, on it? Aye. It looks all right from a fucking. But well, see, you know the thing with me. I didn't give a fuck. No, I didn't, I didn't either, really. Honestly, I didn't give a fuck. I mean, I didn't use it often, but when I use it, I fucking as long as the kids aren't in the car, I fucking use it. You know Aye, what I mean? Use so, it properly. I just try and avoid the rain just because I couldn't be asked to clean it. I hate cleaning the fucking. <laughs> I didn't mind cleaning me me van and that. You know, just chucking like. Fucking sponge and all that. I didn't do this two bucket. That's why my bonnet all swirly as fuck. Two bucket uh, method. But uh, no, I just use detail on everything. Just swirl the fuck on my cars. <laughs> I used to always go to Ford Fair. You know? I always have my contract and everything. Uh, Did you? Have you tracked it a few times? Like I used to track it all the time. That's what I built it for. I built it. I was tracking it all the time, and then I built the engine. Now I'm fucking scared to use the cunt in case I smash the cunt up. So you got aircon in this? Nah, you choke. Some of them came with aircon, didn't they? I haven't even got a water jet washer, man. <laughs> Took it out for it, I'll cool that. <laughs> I'm gonna get one made, it's just... I'm getting mounted. We'll just... Just mount it on, it's going for a 10 minute drive or Got a pan clutch in it? Eh, uh, no, no. I, I have. Sorry, I, I've got it. Um, I've got a uh, AP6 paddle. But I've got the standard um, cover, so the, the pedals are all nice still. Aye. It's like, you know, what I mean, you know, the when you put a six paddle on and the clutch is like solid. Aye. This is still nice. It's just getting the bite when you pull away. Um, Sounds fucking like that key box. Sometimes it feels like it's going to slip in that, but it doesn't slip. Does. It just. When I got my car, I had a th like a four paddle or something on, or a three paddle, it was just an absolute nightmare to pull away. Maybe you just had to launch it everywhere, do you know what I mean? Ah, you, you've got to give it loads of reps. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, away. be positive, to, uh, otherwise you sort, like, of. sort of bounce away. Sounds remember that gay box is totally spear cut, that. Um, it's just setting and third, that's all you need to be honest. The, new, the new ones have uh, straight cut all the gears apart from four because it's like on the on the shaft. Uh, uh, but um, 
Uh, is it? Uh, my third, my third starting again a little bit like like the sink walls. Do you know what I mean? Like when you no, put it in, it just just catch, catches a bit. Blew this box up twice, like. Have you? Just unlucky though. I pulled away. Where we're we going right? Anyway, what mate? I pulled away in there. Excuse all the creaks and shit like that. Cosy man, it's a cosy man. I, uh, I pulled away in second. I left my mate's house. I was on a hill. I pulled away in second, and the vibrations. Because although it's like a strong box, uh, it's just temper temperamental, you know. And I uh, pulled away in second and fourth gear, fell off the shop. Did it? So we went up, got it, uh, got it be done, and I was fourth, looking about on the A1, and, uh, and I took one tooth off the gear, uh, one two. Did you three. wipe the gear box out? So I, uh, well, no, it, it was spot on, I just didn't use third again, he says. It, Done well, it's still all brand new inside, it's just one tooth off. But you spot on that that uh, heat light charges buttons to fix it. Yeah, really? so, uh, What's this? It's a EFR monitor. So it's to stop you from melting your engine. Uh, on hard boost, it shouldn't go under 10.8. Uh, uh, like cruising, it should be around 14. I mean, I mean if I stick it. <laughs> on a on a run, it, it'll it'll get close to it, you know. Uh, I like um, ten point eight. It goes down. What do you use the car for, guy? Like I say, I built it built it for the track. Um, How many times have you been on track with it? Loads, load, oh, yeah. load like round about two thousand seven to two thousand. Ten or something. I've done like odd sessions and stuff. Like me, me used to do a um, finger cross, like a short cross. Uh, Aye. You could just buy the sessions, but it's too much money now. Did you you know, drive like, it down. Uh, drive it down. I uh, drove, the track. drove it, drove it down in, and drove it home with no brakes and tyres absolutely melted and everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice car though. I love, I love the noises in that in a car. Yeah. Uh, I love the noises of this. Aye. Uh, it like sounds it, well and everything. Uh, I, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't even drive that terrible. It's just the fumes and stuff like that when you've been out all day, you're ready for your bed. Honestly, uh, you're like poisoned, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it, it's good, like on the bay walks and stuff like uh, that. Was it totally standard when you got this? No, um, which is probably why I bought it. I, I went and seen a, a small turbo, a Valus Blue, it was. A, Best colour for the mapping, like the silvery blue colour. Aye. Um, but it it had sills, it had sills, and it was buff and everything. So I test drove this, and this was 300, 320 brake on greens, and I loved it. Me, me test drive took about 45 minutes, and uh, I was chopping in a Civic Type R for it. Um, By private? No, I've got my garage. Got it. Uh, JC Motors and. Uh, Yorkshire way, um, and the blog, the sales blog says to my last one, oh, what do you think? Absolutely shit. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, is this a small, there's two Escort this is, Cousins. This is a big turbo, this is a big turbo. This is a big right? turbo and there's a, there's a small turbo as well, isn't it? The yeah, small right. turbo is the later one. Uh, um, is this a T3 then, or T34? So it's, uh, it was on a T34. T34 and the small turbo was a T25 or something, isn't it? Aye, um, but at the time it, you were like limited what you could do with the T25. So you Aye. had to like, change the whole loom and Did the you? ECU and everything. I, I think they can tune them now, but like at the time it was... Ballier. And expensive, aye. Aye, aye. Well, not expensive by today's uh, standards anyway. So we'll ask about that in this. Aye. She like it or she hate it? Well, she doesn't mind it now, but obviously when you go and come like a new Civic, they were like, oh, that's what, you know what I mean? It's a bit of a, uh, a, a shot, like. I'll tell you what it is, I think if we can turn around here, yeah, there's no cause. We might get a little, a little bit of boost on. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it goes well, like. 
I didn't even know I was permanent to there, but it wouldn't have been like well, 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 obviously well. it wasn't to the limit I know, but I mean it holds 34 PSI all the way to the limit Does as it? well I like. So um, obviously it's a fair bit close on it. The bends like it when you do that. How about your bends? Um, it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Oh, wait. 12 and 7. The youngest one's terrified. Is she? Ter Is it at, I have to tell her to watch the boost gauge, and if it goes to the first line, as long as it's under that, she's alright. So she's just terrified the noises and Is everything. She? She's absolutely terrified. But the others like it, you know. Uh, um, we're a bit older, aren't they? The boys understand. I a mean, bit more. Even, even when they were youngins, they always say something. Uh, she's just. My daughter doesn't like it, like. She doesn't like it, like. Does she not? Nah. No. I, I actually I remember one of your first videos uh, when she was like, don't do that again uh, or something like that. And I showed my youngins <laughs> and the <laughs> eye. You just put flip past everything on track. I am. Um, I'm a bit of a fanny to be honest on track. What track? Like, I am not a skin case, people just smash into us and uh, stuff. Yeah, I, 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 like. went, I was giving it the biggin and I went to cloth. And it was sort of rain, it rained on the way down, so I knew my loom plugs would be like knack. So I turned the boost down a little bit just to see if I could, you know, so it wasn't blowing out the spot and stuff like that. Nah, nah it was a disaster. Like, was it? Uh, I, I, and I hadn't been on track for a couple of years, so um, I was a bit nervous. I mean, I had a, um, it's um, Silverstone, uh, I think it was about 2008, the four, um, Ford Fair. I was playing with the uh, the rail and um, three door down aye. there. I didn't know what it is because obviously miles from home at Ford aye. Fair, but I always used to give it the beans at Ford Fair and then funny out at aircraft. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Do you ever think of selling this? I have done a few times. I tell you what it is when me when I was like getting my engine done. Um, I. Uh, I bought a Clio Sport, a 172. Aye. And I had so much fun in that. Aye. I killed it everywhere. And the only reason I didn't keep it is, if you're flat out, um, like over 100, and you hit a bump or something like that, the back end used to step out. It was Did like, it? I, like, I used to, wait, I used to get the 70 mile per hour on the, hit, <laughs> on the uh, 194, and Aye. there's like a bump when it goes into one lane. And like the back end always just to kick out. I didn't know if mine was just knackered or what, but uh, I loved that like. I Me mean, more had one, I used to love driving it. I mean, more, I just didn't boot it about it out. But used to get it, it's a flipping wall of it all out. You should be chucking what out the back and that off the out the exhaust. It sound nice and all, didn't that? Uh, it was like a good power band in them. I, I actually snapped my time belt on one of my kangos and I was gonna build one into a track car using a Cleo Sport but everyone's breaking them now, you know. Aye. Um, so what the Cleos? Ah you can't really get it cheap anymore, so I just scrapped it. Everyone uses some the track tiers and all that, didn't they? I'm in love with all your lights and your colours. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus And to my heart I cannot lie Stars made of stars Up above made to fall Stars counting stars And they guide me through the dark Lonely days left in So after I've been out with Gary in the car, like, we pulled up, me and Gary just got out of the car, we sat in like, the grass bank and we just talked like about stuff for like an hour. Uh, so I kind of forgot to do an ending to the video, I forgot to say like two hours when, when I was with Gary. So I just thought I'd put it in here. So uh, thanks a lot Gary for doing the video, taking the time out with you and that. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys, it helps us out. Until next time, I'll see you later. Cheers.